uh, the transcript if, of Dr. If I may, Foote. If I may yes, also sir. interrupt, <laughs> the testimony was given to us as the hearing had already started. We, did, we, did, we hadn't even had a chance to look at it. We just got it handed to us. Yes, sir. I'm just In saying- In the hallway after the gavel dropped. Well, sir, I'm just saying that on- And it was sent up to, to make sure the truth was on the record, having seen uh, other witnesses' testimony and needing to make sure that the committee was uh, fully aware that we had a taped transcript of our interview. And, that may, and I sir, think people should take a hard look at that transcript. I appreciate it very much, but uh, your staff told us there was a formatting problem uh, getting it to the committee, and that's why we just got it. Are you referring to the transcript of the interview of Dr. Foote? That's what I'm referring to. Any other transcripts I need to be aware of? Now, I believe we sent all the rest of the information up uh, 48 hours in advance. Let me ask you, uh, Mr. Griffin, Dr. Foote's original allegation was up to 40 veterans may may have died while awaiting care at Phoenix. And I think everybody knew that he was referring to patients on the electronic wait list and the schedule, an appointment with primary care consults. So it was all conclusive. So between those two sources, you have now found 83 patients, more than double what the original allegation was. So my, I have a couple of questions and then I will turn it over to Mr. Michaud, but why was that information not included in the executive summary that VA, not you, VA leaked early, but you did find room in it to include that we, quote, pursued this allegation, but the whistleblower did not provide us with a list of 40 patient names, end quote. I believe that uh, you as the chairman received the same hotline that we did. It stated that there were 22 who had died on the electronic wait list, and there were 18 who died on the consult list. So in our pursuit of finding out what happened here, which was an exhaustive pursuit, which is still ongoing, as you know, because of the uro urology issues that we discovered, the obvious first question in our interview with Dr. Foote was, give us the 40 names. We want to go after the records of these 40 people and ensure that we don't miss any of these 40 because it was so definitive. Now, you were very careful in the hearing on April 9th to say potentially 40. Uh, as, as time passed, it became declarative by some that 40 died. Others said there were at least 40. So that spawned 800 media reports that 40 veterans died while waiting for care in Phoenix. That was the story as of the April 9th hearing. To not address that um, with the amount of coverage and the millions of readers who would have read that would have been derelict on our part. So but we didn't look at 40. We looked at 3,409 records to make sure we didn't miss any. So it was important that you draw the fact that Dr. Foote did not provide you the 40 names. That was very important. What was important was in the April 9th hearing in this room. No, I'm talking about the, the final report, not the April 9th hearing now. I'm talking oh, about that, that was not. Um, that was not something that was inserted in the final report. There were multiple drafts, which is a very important point that doesn't seem to be getting any traction. We were asked to provide the first unaltered draft report, and that's what we provided. No, it's sir. the first time let me, in 1,700 let me draw, reports let me draw very we've clear been asked distinction for one. about what we asked for. Okay. Please provide committee with the original draft copy. All right, you may have thought that original meant the very first, that meant an unaltered copy, and I have an email that went to uh, your staff uh, that has original and then in 
parentheses beside it, it says unaltered. In other words, don't adulterate it in any way. We want the original draft. <laughs> Again, we received two requests from the committee, one from you and one from Chairman Kaufman. One of them said un unaltered, and the other said something different. But there wasn't any confusion that you wanted the very first initial draft report. Well, it was let me just read, unknown. Sir, let me read this email to you. You've gotten a third one that came from the staff director of the OIG, of uh, the, the uh, ONI subcommittee, uh, to Joanne Moffitt. Dear Joanne, Chairman Miller would like to know if the OIG is going to provide the committee with a written copy of the original, paren, unaltered draft copy of the Phoenix report as first provided to VA. If so, when? I guess I don't see what the, what the difference is. You asked for the first initial draft report and we provided it. Did, did you ever indicate to the committee or to the staff that there was more than one draft? We did not. We provided what the, what the committee asked for. And we also explained that in the last six years, no committee has ever requested a copy of our draft report because it's Well, shame on him, sir. No, nope. no, that's the way him. it is in the IG community. Well, I'm the sorry, but process, here's the way it works here. We're interested. We want all of the information. We don't want you to use semantics about which copy of the draft we asked for. We asked for the draft that you gave to the VA so VA could make their determination as to whether or not that draft was factual or not. That was the intent. You knew that's what it was. Now, just wait a minute. It's my time, not yours. Okay. You knew what the request was. What we were trying to get is how did that in get inserted from the draft to the final. And now we have testimony from Dr. Day that in fact they did not conclusively look at all the causes of death. So I still, I still make the statement and then I'm going to yield to Mr. Michaud and I apologize to the members. We've all got to be honest and open with each other about what's going on and whether or not any other committee has ever asked for a draft report, shame on them. Whether or not the OIG has ever sat at a table with anybody other than people from the OIG office, tough. This committee is going to get the truth about all of the facts. Mr. Michaud. Mr. Michaud, may I respond to that? This is the crux of the whole allegation. Yes, if the gentleman will want to respond. We were asked to provide the initial because you didn't want one that had been through two or three iterations. You wanted the very first draft report. That was clear to us. You can deny that all you want. Can you show me anywhere that it says we asked for the first draft I would report. refer to the attachments to our report where all of this is spelled out in writing. No, can you tell me where we asked for the first draft report? Sure. Let me find the email and, and I will respond to your question. 